After six years spent living as a stray, this missing cat recognized a face from her past. In 2018, a family in Carmel, Indiana, found a scared black cat living under their shed. They started feeding her, and their neighbor shared a picture of her online to help reconnect her with her owner. Once upon a time, Julie, the black cat, had been a pampered feline. Indiana resident John Gula adopted Julie and her brother Jack. The pair of pets were close, Gula told Current. They used to cuddle, she recalled. But in 2012, the feline siblings would be unexpectedly separated. Early that year, Julie was at Gola's mother's home in Carmel, Indiana, while Gola was at college. And somehow, Julie got out of the abode. Understandably, Gula's mother, Lorinda Roberts, said she felt terrible that the cat had escaped under her watch. She just ran, and I couldn't find her. I was just beside myself, she recalled to the current. Roberts and her son hung flyers throughout the neighborhood, but they never heard anything about Julie's whereabouts. Nonetheless, Roberts continued to look for the cat, but then she received some scary news about her son's health. Just after Julie's disappearance, doctors told Gula that he had lymphoma, and from that point on, Roberts admitted that her search for Julie was placed on the back burner while her son battled cancer. Still, the mom said she always held out hope that Julie would return home. Every once in a while, you find that needle in a haystack, she stated. I was looking for a needle, not a piece of hay. But in spite of the challenges in her son's life, Robert still believed that maybe there was a 1% chance of Julie ever coming back. And in 2018, when she happened to see an online post about a found cat, she couldn't help but wonder if she'd finally landed upon that sliver of hope. The post on Pa Boost Lost and Found Pets described a cat similar to Julie. A family had found a stray black cat under their shed. They said the feline was an older adult and that it appeared nervous. Of course, these were qualities likely shared by plenty of strays, and so Roberts wasn't entirely convinced that the cat was Julie. After all, there was no mention of her identifying feature, a patch of white fur on her belly. Nonetheless, her son went to the family's home in Carmel just in case. As Roberts recalled, he went and saw her and saw the little spot on her belly. Then the cat moved towards Gola. Although the family reported that the stray cat was too skittish to come near them, Robert said, she went right to Gola. She started purring, and that was the start of what became an amazing reunion. Someone must have taken care of her. Her fur was soft. There was a problem with her tail, though, but she doesn't look like she's banged up or anything, Gola said. And in Indiana's cold winter climate, that care could really have saved Julie's life. I'm wondering what Angel cared for her at some point, because we've had some rough winters, Gola said. Fortunately, it would be him who would care for her from then on. He took Julie home after finding her that day. As he settled back into life with his long-lost cat, Gola told Fox 59 it was just crazy to have Julie home again. It's almost like seeing a ghost or something, he added. Readers also felt gracious for those who had looked after Julie along the way. Commenter Roseanne wrote, The biggest thank you to the amazing people who took care of Julie. She was so fortunate to have found loving people who cared about the little black stray. <laughs>